Hello and welcome to another video from me, Rough Swordsman Wargamer. It's another open the box and it's another expansion for Panzer. And we're now looking at Expansion 3, Operations for the Drive to the Rhine, the Second Front, 1944 to 45. Published, of course, by GMT Games. And this is the second printing released this year. So let's see what this is all about. Just to remind you, to play this expansion, you must have a copy of the basic Panzer game, but expansion one and two aren't required. So Panzer expansion number three shifts the action to the Western Front, where US and British forces drive the beleaguered German units across Western Europe and into the very heart of Germany. The reference and scenario book includes a host of new optional rules covering staggered initiative, spot removal, delayed reaction, bocage country, defensive fire and many others, including complete rules and reference tables for airborne and glider operations. A few new special units, like the Churchill Crocodile Flamethrower Tank, stoke up the action to a new level. You will find no less than 12 versions of the Sherman tank in both US and British livery. Cromwell tanks, Hellcat, Jackson and Achilles tank destroyers, Greyhound and Humber armoured cars, anti-tank guns, four new aircraft and many others. The Germans are also well represented with the Marder 3, the Stu H-42, Jag Panther, Jag Tiger, Herzer, including the flamethrower version, SPWs, PSWs, and more. The 10 scenarios include seven historical based and three actual historical scenarios that cover a wide range of action on the Western Front between US, British, and German units, including the two clashes between the British 7th Armoured Division, Panzerleer, and SS Tiger Tanks at Villers Bocage. Also included is a detailed TO and E book outlining eight US and British and Commonwealth divisions. The German formations include Panzerleer, two Panzer Brigades, and the SS Panzer Abteilung 101. Have I got them pronunciations right? So, as always, a little peek at some of the counters and one of the map boards. So what do we get in this box, which is quite heavy? One reference and scenario book, 65 two-sided unit data cards, five full color counter sheets, one TO and e book, four 10 by 27 inch geomorphic map boards with one inch hexes, which makes eight map boards in total. The game scale, as always, individual tanks, vehicles, towed guns and aircraft, infantry squads, half squads, and sections. Two players or more, ages 14 plus. The time for each game turn is one hour or more, and the map 100 meters per hex. Designer and developer, James M. Day. Art director, Roger B. McGowan. Production coordinator, Tony Curtis. Usual crew of producers, counter art and design, James M. Day, Pascal Da Silva, and Mark Simonich. Map art and design, Charles Kibler. Rulebook and playbook, Charles Kibler and Mark Simonich. And the package art and logo design, Roger B. McGowan. On the game meter, as always, complexity is medium high, six out of nine, as is the solitaire suitability, medium high, six out of nine. Right, let's get the shrink wrap off this rather hefty box. So the shrink wrap is off once again. The two inch sturdy box that we're used to with GMT. Let's see what's inside. So the first thing we can see are the map boards. Let's have a look at those first. Here's the first one, map 13. And this, I presume, is the Bocage 
Here's the other side, map 17, more Bacage hills, woods, lots of obstacles. Here's map 14 with a couple of villages here and Villers Bocage there. And on the other side, map 18, map 15, some clear terrain but heavy on the old Bocage there. And on the other side, map 19, we have more varied terrain to cope with. Here's the last map board, map 16, this time with a couple of urban areas. And finishing off with map 20, with this urban area here, singling on a hill. Next, we'll have a look at the five counter sheets. Counter sheet one, you can pause if you want to study the counters in more detail, but again, seven eighths on the brown core, nice and thick. And here's the other side. Counter sheet two, good to see the Brits and Commonwealth units represented. And the other side, oh, mosquito. Counter sheet three with the US units. And the other side. Counter sheet four has a mixture of German, American and British and Commonwealth units. And the back of counter sheet four. And lastly, counter sheet five, which has some leg units from the US, Britain and the Commonwealth and Germany, as well as some turret markers and command and admin markers. And a quick look at the back of counter sheet five. Next is the playbook for expansion three, Drive to the Rhine, the second front. And this comes in at 44 pages. And it starts off with uh, the introduction, historical notes, and then we're into uh, talking about the historical scenarios with optional rules, it looks like, because they're seven point something. So a load more of them. And I've only just started to scratch the surface of the advanced rules. Look at that glider landing. Airborne operations. Yeah, look. Bocage country. And then the scenarios. Let's quickly have a look at those. Don't want to show you the whole lot. But as you can see, usual format, all color, matte paper. Glorious Goodwood. And then at the end, we've got some more summary charts with points, I presume, for making up your own scenarios. And the German unit summary charts. And on the back, some of the new charts and tables you'll be using. And the T, O and E booklet, which is 36 pages long and, as always, contains an absolute wealth of information that you can sit and peruse to your heart's content. There's the Brits.
and the Germans. So there we go. As always, a lot of research, it looks like, has gone into these T, O and E books. So enjoy. There is no insert in this box because it's full of data cards. Double-sided, I won't show you them all. Here's some German ones. Stugs, Elephant, Shark Tiger. And they're all about that thick, these piles. Got some Americans here. You see a Sherman, Jumbo. Some more Germans here. Pack 38. Squads, half squads and sections. There's the Greyhound. And the Brits and the Commonwealth. Sherman. There's the Firefly. Archer, Daimler Mark 1, that sounds a bit German. Humber, there we go. That'll keep you busy. So this has been an open the box, an unboxing of a bonkers amount of stuff that you will find in the third expansion for Panzer. The game of small unit action and combined arms, and this, Expansion 3, is concerned with operations for the drive to the Rhine, the Second Front, 1944-45. to 45. Goodness me, there's a lot in there. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did and you haven't done so already, it would be great if you would consider subscribing to the channel. It really does help. Pushing the old like button of the video, the thumbs up, helps tremendously as well. And if you want to be informed of other content the channel uploads, then push the bell. Leave a comment. As I said earlier, I'm only just starting to dive in to the advanced rules. And it's a little bit mind-boggling, but we'll get there. But what do you think? Let me know. I love to read them. Thanks as always to my subscribers. Thank you so much. And just one thing before I go. If you want to support the channel a little bit further, well now you can, you can buy the channel a coffee and all those coffees go towards maintaining the channel and allowing it to continue to upload new content. If you want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description and thank you. So until next time, this will keep you busy. As always, you take care and goodbye.